Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and welcome to a Let's Pixel video. In this video, we're going to be making a pixel art bat. This is actually a bat character that I'll probably be using in a project that I'm working on. That's why I wanted to start here. So I've got a sprite open. I have uh, this preset palette here, which is rosy 42. It's uh, one of my favorite palettes to use in a sprite. And I'm going to start working on this bat. Now I want to use this similar style right here. This is a snake enemy that I did. So I want to use a similar approach while making this bat. This is about 16 by 16 pixels. Uh, the canvas is larger than that, but the, the creature here itself is about 16 by 16. So I'm going to start with that constraint and increase the canvas size after, just like I did with this. And I'm going to start with a dark purple so I can figure out the silhouette. And that's what we want to get first, is the silhouette of the bat. So the snake is facing to the left. I'm going to start with this bat facing to the right. And let's increase the size of this just a bit. And I'm going to paint on very loose here with some shapes. See, see what I can come up with. Uh, okay, kind of uh, thinking like a big head. Here's a wing, maybe. Something like this. Let's see, I could just do a single, there's so many different ways that you can do bats and get away with it. Uh, I could do a single, uh, I think I may need to add a bit more space here. I could do a single body like this, uh, maybe some ears, and then uh, have the wings come off of this. So. it better how it was before make it symmetrical so this would be the body we can have the wings come off of here like this I'm gonna increase the size of my canvas to 24 by 24 because even though the bat itself actually let's do 32 by 32 even though the bat itself is going to be small I do want to be able to take up some space for the wings Yeah, I think that's actually kind of cool. Fan of this silhouette here. Trying to figure out the shape still a little bit. Or I 100 commit 100% 100 commit to this. So we could add in some eyes here. Maybe something like that. And from here, I might move this wing down some, and then in some. Yeah, I want to do that. Uh, I want to try and create some perspective. So the other thing uh, I want to do is there's kind of a shortcut for when you're doing side view or uh, pixel art in games is that you can often just cut the character in half and have this half be darker and this half be lighter. So we're going, and it kind of creates like a lit from the front perspective so let's see where's this is our lighter tone here come in and fill in 
that here. That back ear is going to be darker. Just like the back wing is. And there we go. That's the start. Whoops. Maybe carve that out just a tad. Probably bring the wing up too. If we're going to do that. I'm going to move this whole wing a bit more in. Yeah, there we go. That's better. I'm going with perspective. That's why the wings aren't perfectly symmetrical. Okay. I'm actually saved this start. So we'll call this um, bat. There we go. And uh, we've got the basics for the shape. And now we need to get some of our values in, kind of create a lighting. Now the snake here is lit um, kind of from the top. Uh, you can see we've got some shadows coming under it. It's creating some shadows behind it. So let's see if we can do a similar thing with this bat. First, let's start with the uh, back here and how much do we want to do on the wing? That's the question. Um, come across like this. That's pretty dark. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we'll just continue on and see how things go. Shaded under both those. Could make the bat look a bit more angry. I think that's wise. We need a purple that's darker, but not so dark. Is this dark? No, that's not dark. How about this brown? It's not as dark, but I don't like the color. I need a color in between these two, so what I'm going to do is copy this one. And then select these three colors together and gradient between them and get this nice in-between purple there. Now we want to shade under this head just a bit so we can indicate that there's a head there, like that. Not sure if we can show the other eye. Does the snake show the other eye? It does. So we do want that. Uh, and this is probably about as much as I want to do. Um, it's all kind of dark. It's a bit too dark overall. I want to brighten it up a bit. Uh, we'll grab this lighter color here. And, you know, actually we can do, we can select these colors. And then I'm pretty sure a sprite has a way to uh, shade. So if we do shading, then we go large, you can see that we're shading it, but what we can do is reverse shade. And this will lighten the whole thing. So as we paint, it will just lighten everything and get us the lighter values. That's because it knows which values to use 
because of what we've selected in the canvas here. Or not the canvas, the palette. Okay. Let's compare. Here's our snake. Here's our bat. Okay. Bat has great, great, uh, great silhouette. It's looking good in a lot of ways. Uh, the biggest issue that I see with it right now is that we want to shade the lower body probably more to separate it from the head. And might even put kind of a line there between the body and the wing. This. I don't know, something like that. Uh, the biggest problem that the difference between these two right now is that this actually is outlined and this isn't. So we're going to outline it. And this is where things get a little tricky. Let's just outline the whole thing for now. So we're going to grab this dark blue, hit control shift. This will outline it. And that just outlines the entire thing. Uh, where it gets tricky is that this actually, it makes the shape, we, we lose some of our shape. So I actually want to, hmm, let's see. What we'll do is we'll outline on the inside, I think. I may have to manually outline it. Let's see. Let's start by outlining the ears because I do want them to be outlined like this. Oops, I uh, went into the eye there. But then when it comes to our wings, I actually think I want to outline on the inside like this. And that's because I like the shape that we have already. I don't want to lose that shape. We worked hard to get a nice silhouette. Um, but if we just outline, it will we'll lose the silhouette that we created. That's how I want to go on the inside for the wing. But I, I wanted the ears to be bigger. And so I outlined on the outside of them. So it's kind of an important thing to keep in mind when you're outlining is, is um, where you want, like where you want this stuff to be. Now, like where you want the outline to be on the outside or the inside. And that's why I manually did it instead of using shift O. So we'll save this again. It's coming along pretty nice. I'm happy with it. Like it looks like it fits in the same game as this snake so far. Uh, I think the next step to really make it match this is that this outline is shaded. You can see we've got the darker version and then kind of a lighter outline on top. So that's what we're going to do now is take a lighter outline. We can come across the top here like this. Um, we'll leave that black. And shade the parts that are a little bit lighter this lighter outline that not sure whether to use the black here maybe in the back I'll use it in the front I won't I don't know we're getting a little particular there that there Okay. And that's it. I'm happy with this bat. And uh, I'm actually going to open up my project that uses it. Let's see, which is this one right here. And the final test is to come into the world. So close scene, close tabs to the right, and drop the sprite into here. Uh, we need to export it. So file, export as sprite sheet, output file bat.png. Where is this? It's in the right place. We can export it. Come into here. 
in Godot, which is the engine that I use. Find our bat. Alphabetical order, don't know why I scrolled down. Drop it in here and see how it looks with the other enemies in the game. And to me, this already looks pretty good. Feels like it fits in this world very well. With the, the character, the other enemies, the main character. I will be probably redoing this main character some. Uh, but let's let's uh, come into our dungeon. Hide this. We'll leave the doors and hide that so it's easier to see how it matches with the rest of the dungeon as well. This. Yeah, that creature looks like it fits within this world quite well. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It is kind of dark still, even though I made it lighter. Uh, so this is where it's very useful to be able to see stuff. Like I might actually brighten that, that back wing just a tad there. I don't know that I want to go so far as to lightening this. Uh, let's see. Could add a bit more to it. I'm just seeing, like, what is this gonna what what is this gonna look like if I do this? If I add kind of some more highlights to it. Light up the forehead some. It just looks too it looks too <laughs> I'm not really happy with that. I'd probably almost rather use the brighter color if I'm gonna actually do it. Just commit to using a bright color. I'm not really happy with that either. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's the end of the day. Brighten up the head some. Add a little bit of, no, that doesn't work at all, really. Maybe that does. It's too, there's, I almost feel like I should just take this brighter pink and use it instead. I'm going to actually save this and export it and see. There's no harm in trying. Why not see? See, it definitely brightens it up and it feels like it, I don't know, the whole bat is was just too dark still. <laughs> I think it just needed to be brightened up a whole nother level. So let's do that. This can happen if you don't if you don't test it, if you don't look at it in your game, then you're not gonna see. Oops, not lock alpha sh shading, and then reverse shade. Oh. Reverse shade again. Oh my gosh. It looks so much better this way. I, that was the right choice, was to brighten it one more time. Ah. We're still keeping the darker outlines, you'll notice. It didn't lighten our outlines. Export sprite sheet, yes. There we go. That's what it should look like. Okay, now it's the right value. It was a little too dark. It wasn't bad. It's just like you want it to be bright, you know, stand out. Um, so there we go. That's going to be it for this video. Maybe in the next one, we'll animate the bat. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.